em going banana It's Sunday, January 24 of 2021. This is Julia's podcast. My name is Julia and this week I don't go solo. I have an amazing podcast to share with you and it's with Antrian Moros in the screen. I want to remind you in the last podcast, uh, I had my intro to the show. We spoke about who I am what I want and what you will experience. If you remember, I mentioned that I'm a Greek artist living, living in The Hague for the last almost four years. Before that, I've been around Europe exploring new adventures. In the next few podcasts, I'll, I'll have also Greeks living abroad and uh, together with them, we will uh, talk about how is to experience this. In this podcast, I have as a guest Antrian. He's also a Greek guy living in Switzerland, Zürich, for the last years. So actually, we are here because we will discuss how it feels to be a Greek living abroad. Andrian Moros, uh, he's into the real estate, but also he loves to explore things about spirituality, meditation and consistency. So in this podcast, we will talk about being a Greek, but also all, all, everything that has to do with spirituality. So stay tuned. It will be interesting. And see you soon, guys. If you like what you see, don't forget to, to subscribe on YouTube channel, like, comment and share this with your beloved one and yeah blessings to you and your family love you all enjoy so hello hello Julia. andrea <laughs> how are you doing nice to good and you how are i'm you? doing bananas <laughs> why why that yeah i don't know that's the Funny. The motto of my podcast, I'm a Greek goddess or I'm just going bananas. Well, I guess my whole life I was going bananas. <laughs> I always liked your attitude. Okay, you know, thank your, you. Your energy. I always uh, was drawn to your energy. So, uh, yeah, I like yeah. you. You're different yeah, than, you. than, I like than <laughs> what? what? What did you say? Sorry. Yeah, you, are, you are different and I like that than many people I know. So. You have something unique. I, well, <laughs> I cannot deny. Yeah, it's unique. And it's out there. Yeah, it's unique. Yeah. I guess it's my positivity. I think yeah. so. It's not so, always so working tell, well, but yeah. Yeah. So tell me how, I mean, we both are Greeks originally. Yes. I, yes. I am in Switzerland and you're in, in Holland. Okay. How, did, how did you how did you get to, to Holland? What was your purpose? I mean, did you have enough of well, this? <laughs> well, that's the meaning of the podcast. Also, we have to talk uh, how it's to be a Greek living abroad, uh, Greece. So, yeah. well, after my studies, uh, as you know, uh, I just uh, 2010 or so I finished my theatrical studies, performing arts. So after that, well, since I remember myself, I was always wanted to explore the world. That was the big dream, you know? So after my studies, I said, okay, that's the big moment. That's yeah. now your time to start uh, see different things, you know, be before you start your career, you can explore uh, what world is and uh, get out a little bit of my comfort zone because yeah uh, well uh, yeah it first was the school then the studies and i was really into it really focused so uh yeah i needed some time for myself and to see what is out there you know okay and of course how it is not to be greek also the uh see from the different cultures and everything, the unique ID that uh, yeah the world has to get out a little bit of my box, <laughs> my little box. 
And you? Yes. You live in uh, Zurich, Yato, uh, isn't it? Yes. Uh, I was born in Peru, and um, my father is Greek. My mother is from Peru. But I look, I look more European, I would say. I mean, if, if somebody would guess where I'm from, it's difficult to say. I could be from anywhere. So, because, yeah. you know, the Greeks, they say, ah, you look like this. The, the Italians, they say, you look like that. So, Man, I have the same problem. Eh? <laughs> yeah, but you know, don't forget that Greece was, now the Greeks will hate me for that, but Greece was 400 years on the Turkish. Uh... <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 I know. That's so, something that not, really hurts, yeah, the Greeks. You not say how, who really, who, who, how does a Greek really look? You know, you have to yeah. look back in, in history. That's in your own our DNA. Yeah? It's not only Turkish also, eh? No, we had many but conquerors, too. but yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> especially, especially for me, I am I'm from the island of Corfu, so Corfu was not invaded by the Turks. So <laughs> oh, yeah, but it was from Italians, eh? For a moment, I know because also my grandma was from Corfu, so I also have roots in Corfu. So oh, really? <laughs> I didn't know. That. Yes, okay. here comes my name also, Julia. From, Romeo and ah, Juliet. So from... Yeah. Ah, interesting, okay. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Mean, it's Italian. Yeah, I mean, for my name, Adrianos or Adrian, like I said, but Adrianos is uh, from the emperor Adrian, you know, from the... Yes, the big... Uh, yeah, emperor. I mean, I, I, have, I have even my own street in Athens, you know. Yes, the street Andrianos. Of Andrianos. Andrianos street. <laughs> I feel home there, next to the Acropolis. Okay, so now there is a, here is a hot question. You yeah. said the magic world. Where do you feel home? Yeah. For me, look, if, we, if it goes, if, if I look at it from the spiritual side, I feel home everywhere. Because, you know, wherever I travel, my experience has shown that I can adapt myself everywhere. And I feel yes. drawn to the places. Because the earth is, I would say earth is my home. You know? mm -hmm. But it's always good to have a place to come back and say that you're home. And I would say, out of my own experience, that Greece. So when I'm in Greece, I go out, I am in the islands, I feel, you know, like, I feel gone to this, to the history of Greece. I don't know. Something. Yes. Like maybe it's inside the there. Past, past yeah. No. Something like that, yeah. So I would say Greece. May, may okay. Say. Yes. And you? Well, now, well, here it is. <laughs> uh, in my first, uh, first podcast, I said, I also feel home here. I also feel home uh, in Greece. But it's mm -hmm. what you said. We are travelers of the world. Eh? I feel yes. home where my heart is and my heart is. Yes. That's my home. Eh? So <laughs> sometimes, you know, I say my body is my temple can yeah. be my temple, though I don't want to put it in a form, you know. But uh, whatever you put me, I will survive, I will stand up, and I will create my own reality. For yeah. some, I'm really proud, I'm really proud to be Greek, but I can uh, live outside the fact that I've been already uh, a citizen in three, uh, three uh, countries, Mm -hmm. And uh, from all of them, I took the best, you know, the okay. best. So I'm really grateful. And that's the spirit, man. We are humans. Yeah. Can I ask you, what was the reason you went to Holland? Where are you? In, in Den Haag, no? Yeah. I am in The Hague, yes. Well, I came for yeah. holidays. First, my cousins visit the country. Yeah, the oh. young one, she came for a love. <laughs> Uh, so then we're super excited and they said whoa it's amazing here so I said okay I will come for holidays I have to see the amazing uh, country that you said it is so here I am I came for holidays I was partying I was enjoying life you know yeah. so I said people if I found a job here I am I'll stay I'm not going anywhere and after four years <laughs> I'm still here 
So you you feel that you're home now? Yes. Okay. I have two homes. I have my base in Greece yeah. and my base here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, when I came first, came to Switzerland, it was not, I would say, easy because of the culture, you know, like different. You okay. Know, Switzerland oh. is a nice country. Uh, you know, you have everything here. Nice yeah. lakes, mountains, nature. And um, for me, because I went on my own, I didn't know anyone in Switzerland. I came in 2007. So it was like a, you know, like a cultural, how, 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 was, how should I say? It was like culture a, not shock. Sex. Yeah. Okay. Difference, a huge, to, yeah. Yeah. But so, let me yeah. make clear something. Where you've been before? It's important, yeah. you know? Yeah, I was in Germany, so that's not a, I mean, big thing. I was in Munich. So, okay. Yeah. But before that, I used to live in Greece. So, okay. Greece, Germany, Switzerland, you know, yeah. I've been okay. almost all around Europe, I would say, <laughs> half of Europe. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, after so many years here, you know, fortunately I have my mother who lives now here and my brothers, so I'm not so on my own here. Mm -hmm. But the good thing in Switzerland is you're like in the middle of Europe, you're like central. Yes. Like for me, I, I fly two hours to Athens from here. Like, uh, I don't know, from Amsterdam, maybe three hours. So Same everywhere here. you go. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm like in the middle. You also almost, but you know. And, yes. Um, the good thing about where you are is you could fly directly to Peru, because when I fly to Peru, I always fly over Amsterdam. Okay. So, so from I here, yeah, it's to... more easy to reach. Uh, also, Asia yeah. and uh, like, Latin America. Yeah, I know what yeah. you mean. Yeah. It's a but, big uh, airport, eh? Yes, I always get lost. <laughs> it's yeah. incredible. Right? Every yes. time I come there, I have to go from one terminal to the other, and then once I almost lost my flight because, you know, I was... Uh, oh, it happened to me also. Really? Almost, yes. Okay. I was in a panic mode. I said, please, if I lose my flight, I'm going to burn it down. No, but uh, okay. I managed. But, but you made it, okay. Of course, I always yeah. make it. Uh... <laughs> yeah, interesting. No, but oh. like, I mean, I've, I came uh, many times to Amsterdam or to Holland, and I like the people there. They're very friendly, open. And yes, it's true. I don't know. I don't know if it's like from there, like this, since they're always there. But for me, it was always a good impression being there. You know? Like I have the same people. impression also. I really yeah. like them. Trust me, they know <laughs> they know how to enjoy life. <laughs> but what I have to find out is they don't like German. They don't like speaking German. So I always have to avoid saying something in German. So avoid the fact that the, to say, <laughs> oh, I'm leaving German. Well, rumor says that, yeah, they don't like them. Rumor says. That was my experience. So. <laughs> yeah, I experienced the same. So you know, okay. I have I had the same. You know when? I, well, not the same because when I left uh, Greece, the first uh, country that I went was um, Spain. So for me, there wasn't a big shock, you know, because Mediterranean people, they look like a little bit uh, more, you know, the same um, mentality, though we had differences. Of course we had. It was yeah. different. The big shock when, was when I went to Sweden and when I start to meet Swedish people. So the Nordic mentality, you know, the, yeah. So there for me, it was the first shock. Okay. okay. Uh, did you have problems also uh, or adapt to the environment? Or so when you've changed from Greece to German and then to Switzerland, 
did you have any problems? Did you felt uh, that uh, there is uh, an environment that it's not friendly or you have a difficulty to uh, adjust or something? Yeah, look, regarding um, adapting myself, you know, okay, in the beginning, it was not easy. But what I learned is that seeing it from the spiritual side is because I attracted this kind of people situations, you know. Uh -huh. So the more I learned what's happening around me, it's because it's internal. So when I work with myself, you know, like seeing things differently, like being grateful, for example, being here, because not everybody can be here. And it changed my mind, you know, like, I always thought, oh, I don't like being here. You know, people are cold or whatever. So yes. when I realized that it all starts with me, I, I started to see the things differently. I yes. mean, you always catch yourself still talking negatively, you know, sometimes, but then... Nagging like, and uh, complaining all the time about the weather about uh, being cold. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. So when I realized that if, if I want to have a good life or, you know, living uh, a life where I feel in peace, then I have to start by myself, in, in, inside myself, you know, like seeing mm -hmm. things, seeing the good things, not only the bad things, and being exactly. grateful for being here, having this, all this, if you start being grateful, then things would start making more sense. You know? uh -huh. I mean, we are all here for a reason. I'm here, you're there. So yes. the point is, what do you, what do, you do out of that? You know? Many times, I'm going to be honest, I wanted to leave because I couldn't stand it you know, from here, from Switzerland. But I realized that it all has its purpose. You know, yes. That I'm here. So when I started to realize that, it shifted many things inside, you know. Uh -huh. And I'm still in the process. I mean, you never stop lear learning. So, yeah. I mean, each one has it's their own journey. It's, it's a journey. It's a journey. Life is a journey. Life is exactly. a journey. So, but and that's what I was doing. Exactly. But it doesn't keep me from going to Greece. You know, I used to go every month. Go yeah, to me too, eh? <laughs> and now look at us. We are stuck in the pandemic. Uh, yeah, exactly. sorry. Or <laughs> yeah, but again, you have to see it from the positive side. Why Always, are we eh? stuck? You know, for me, last year, it was a good time. For many, it was a bad time. Yeah. Uh, because they had to stay home. They couldn't go anywhere. They would, yeah. would, they would have loved to travel. But since I love to travel as well, it was a challenge in the beginning, but then I realized it was good for me because I uh, could focus on what is important. You know? The I inner... Doing, uh, yes, I started doing The inner meditation. journey. Yeah. Exactly. I started doing meditation da daily. I read books, you know, uh, yes. about spiritual stuff, uh, about self-development, all that. It helped me, you know, a lot. Mm -hmm. and, and then I started the journey with posting videos daily on TikTok, which I never expected to do that because I'm not a person like which loves to this kind of things. But then I said something inside me, there is a calling, you know, like I have this feeling I need to give out this information or this knowledge I have to others. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So consistently since last year, I posted every day a video, no matter what. If it, like you see me always in, the, in nature, in the forest, but it doesn't matter if it's raining, snowing, whatever, I always put exactly. a video. So you have a plan, you have a target, yeah. Exactly, yeah. being consistent. You know? If you're not consistent, exactly. then that's, that's how you with can... with everything. Exactly, yeah. That's how you can also achieve many things in life. If you're consistent and have goals, because a lot of people, they don't have goals. They don't even write uh -huh. them down. They don't know. They're like a, I always say, they're like a ship lost in the sea. Nah! So, yeah. With no uh, direction. Like the GPS. Exactly. You know, like. So, yeah. 
Oh no, automat pilot. I call them automat pilot. <laughs> yes, you put automat. the automat pilot and you go like, uh, yeah, whatever. Now, I guess one good thing that came out of uh, this pandemic, we all became uh, Instagram influencers. We started yes. create uh, podcasts and yeah, we became professionals in social media. That's a good thing. Yeah. But I mean, still, eh? We are out there. <laughs> exactly. So we are out is, there. This is, this is our time. It's the best time to be alive. To shine. Yes. No, but not? really, eh? Before we were out there traveling, now we are have the inner traveling and uh, ex exploring yeah. what your what your really values in your life, eh? The values exactly. that really matters. Yes. And what's this? Because yes. I think we all, uh, we are closed homes alone. You have to, you have to, like, that's what I always say. Since everybody's locked down, they have to confront, confront themselves with themselves, which they didn't do. Yes. Because yes. they never had this opportunity to do that, you know, like I uh -huh. would say. Mm -hmm. So, it, for many, it was challenging, you know, because I know mm -hmm. people, they don't like being alone. They don't like confronting themselves, you know, confronting their problems, what they have with themselves. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say, if you start looking into yourself and, and see why you are living this life, then you will understand why you attracted all these people or circumstances in your life. Yeah. Yes. So it was a good time to reflect last year. Yes. And like what I want, to, like what I always say is, that's what's going on now with the pandemic and all that. If people are, or you know, we are spiritually awakened, then we understand what's happening. But if mm -hmm. you're not awakened spiritually, then you will always be stuck there. You know. Mm -hmm. You won't understand what's really going on, mm -hmm. you know, without getting too much into into the details about all this what's happening. My, I have a like, question. Yes. Like Greeks that we are, how is the work uh, uh, outside of Greece? Did you ever had any problem uh, in your working environment? Like how you mean? Uh, have you ever worked in Greece? Did work, you ever have a like career? Really work? Like, no, yeah, I mean, in Greece, no, 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 not, no. Uh, not that I remember. No, okay, okay. I went to Germany and then I studied in Germany, but I never worked in Greece. I only did, you know, because I'm in real estate. My business, mm -hmm. my main business is in real estate. So I have, you know, I didn't have uh, close, I didn't close deals in Greece. But my mm -hmm. experience shows that um, in Greece, one helps the other, you know. If, you're, mm -hmm. if you have a good connection, mm -hmm. like uh, a lot of people make fun of us in Greece, that, you know, that a lot of people work in the government. Yes. So what? <laughs> you know, the point is, <laughs> Yeah. You well, it can I mean. be a drama out of this, eh? What? That, yeah, everybody's laughing at us because uh, the most of us, they want to work for the government. Yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah, but that's what, that's what the it, foreigners know about Greece. You know, ah, you know, I know this cousin who works with this cousin, works in, yeah. in that government and this and that. Of course. Yeah, so... No, but I wanna, what I want to say, if you have good connections in Greece... You easy. can do everything. It's only about connections. But do you, do you face the same in uh, Zurich or, or no? Or in German? I think it, it's more uh, democratic, the system there. Yeah, yeah it is, yes. I was it, surprised when I first came to, to Switzerland that you can vote for everything. You know, mm -hmm. you have the right to say, look, I don't want this or that, and then you can mm -hmm. vote. You know, the people can say, I, I, I mean, you can vote for anything, really. That's a good thing yeah. about people. 
they respect the you know their society's uh, uh, wish you know like if they don't want to have certain things or they don't want to be part of the European Union okay mm -hmm. so be it I mean okay. if the government wants it but the the people don't want it you cannot change it okay you know? but in other countries it's unfortunately not like that you know that so you think that the society has the hands but yeah but here in Switzerland you know that you can vote and you know yeah. that your vote really counts okay you know, like, even though you are greek or italian or german or whatever no you have to be a swiss uh, citizen you cannot vote okay well. no but do you have a switzerland uh, citizen passport or you are illegal <laughs> I have only my <laughs> Hellenic Greek passport at the moment, which almost, uh, like I would say, was my experience was showed last year or two years ago, not the best solution. Because up to then I thought, oh, my Greek passport, I can travel anywhere. I don't need anyone, anything mm -hmm. else. And then they stole my ID and my passport in Athens in the center from my car. And that was, okay. it. like I said, Never again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Always good yeah. to have a, a second option. Yes. So, yeah, I mean. Welcome to Greece. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Greece. But I never experienced it because I never had this problem. You know, I've been so many times in Greece. I lived in Greece, and it never mm -hmm. happened to me. And then suddenly, for a reason, it happened. You know, and Can happen. I always say, shit happens. <laughs> yeah, I said the same. Sorry. No, I also have only my uh, Greek passport. Okay. Yeah, and I feel nice. <laughs> which, is so, also, which is actually not bad. I mean, you know, it's one of the 10 best passports to have in the world, actually. I read it. Yes, somewhere. yes. I wrote it, it also in C CNN. Yeah. It was yeah. an article about it's, it, I think it's in the eighth uh, position. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So it's not Seven that eight, bad. Yeah. That's why we are proud. Yes. Yeah, it's a nice passport. It is, yes. I don't say yeah. it's bad. You know. <laughs> so, no. But my experience to, to, to get it again after being stolen was a... Nightmare, I know. know. Wanna, yeah. When you, you have to deal with the Greek government, good luck with this. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. You know. Nah. It's, I don't wish anyone to, to go through what I would I what I had to go through. <laughs> I can tell okay, you. Okay, there yeah, there is a small uh, joke uh, that I'm gonna bring here. So Tom Tom Hag, uh, he became a Greek citizen, and he was Tom so has, passionate yeah. and proud and blah blah blah. He said, as long as I don't have to deal with the Greek government, I can be the perfect uh, Greek citizen. And that's he true. That? Uh. Yeah, he okay. said that. He that said that. Okay. It, somebody, I think we are worldwide uh, around famous about, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, any know. other jokes that uh, they use? Uh, do you have, of course, what's their first impression when you say I'm Greek, <laughs> when you are... Look, when, when this whole thing started, you know, with the crisis, mm -hmm. um, I can tell you, they made fun of us. Like, oh, yeah. you know, the Greeks, the poor Greeks, maybe you need some help, or, you know, this or that. So, I think yes. the media really made us look bad. Yeah, like they, they turn the system are, around uh, against us. Like yeah. we are the bad sheep in the European Union somehow. Like that. Yeah. That we owe everybody. But the European Union's fault, not us. So I always say that, not the good. Yeah. You know, no, I was lucky because back then I was in Spain. So. Oh, you were in Spain? Okay. Yeah, back then I was in Spain and thank God they were so against Merkel, I never felt uh, that I have a negative um, judgment or anything, the opposite. Yeah. 
okay. they were saying, oh, blah, 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 you know, I don't want to speak bad words now. Well, I love to, but, you know, it's not political correct. Uh, <laughs> but I was lucky because, yeah, we were the black sheep of the pigs, you know, Portugal, uh, Italy, Greece, and Spain. So mm -hmm. now, uh, well, this is something that I could see it coming, but uh, I've never turned myself down and I never said, you know what, I'm Greek, so, yeah. Um, I'm what you think you are. No, I'm not what you think you are. And your opinion is something that is based in the media and the news. And it's a government thing, you know, but if you meet a Greek person, you will see that it's the other way around, you know. It's not what mm -hmm. you think we are. So they had an opinion about us that we are a lazy uh lazy people and we don't love working and we love uh the sun and yeah something like the mexican <laughs> with the sombrero sitting in the sun and, doing nothing and, and, and what, what what's bad about that i don't get i never well that. we are not yeah. we are not but, but even, I, the even, greeks even are hard opinion. workers yeah huh? yes i know that yes i know that personally i know a lot of people who work hard who, of who course for jobs Okay, now forget it. Now with the virus, it's all gone. But I used yeah. to know people who really work hard. So. Yeah, yeah. And they made so, it look like we were enjoying the sun and you know having a good time, which we also do. We mm -hmm. love, we love living life. You know? We're mm -hmm. not robots. We're not like oh, we go at this time the to uh, bed and this and this. No, we are a free living spirit country. I would say. That's what yes. I thought about Chris. You know this. We are, we are emotional. We are emotional. Yeah. <laughs> Greeks are emotional. Or no? I have my best. Yes. I have my best experiences, I can tell you, uh, on, on the Greek island. You know, this uh, Philotimo, the word Philotimo. Philotimo, it's yes. Really. It's yes. the only. They say. They say that this world, uh, word exists only in Greece. You cannot translate it to another language. Exactly. Philotimo yes. is a Greek word. There it, is no translation. You cannot tra translate this, no. Well, you, if, yeah. if you could translate it, then it would mean like um, somehow like um, being friendly, open, uh, you know, like uh, how, how, you think there's no, yeah, but kind, kind, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's and appreciation. I think it's more like appreciation when someone is doing something good to you, you appreciate that, and you are never gonna exactly. uh, hurt you could, him. You could or... say that's more close to the word philotimo, appreciate, yeah, appreciation. I think. Yeah, if you can translate it. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, for me, I had my best experiences in Crete, uh, you know, on the... Creta. Island. I love this Creta. island, man. Yeah. <laughs> I love this island. And we are all... I think there is no Greek that doesn't love Creta, Crete. I don't think so. Yeah. I mean... I know some places where, you know, the usual tourists wouldn't go and I had my best time there. It's like yeah, somewhere hidden, exactly. you know? And yeah, exactly. I had the best time there. Like, I can tell you there was a time I didn't have money and they even, you know, they hosted me at their place. You know, I ate at the tavernas. I helped out. It was tavernas. Best, yeah. It was the best time I had. You know, yes. So I will never forget that. But I like yes. being... I like being, you know, there, especially when, when I have time, I go in summer, I do like island hopping and I have the best experience without, you know, going spontaneously, traveling spontaneously is the best thing. If you don't like it, you go somewhere else. You know? Yes. If you don't like where you are, you can move on and then, you know, that's what I did. When I like mm -hmm. somewhere in an island, I stayed for a longer time, so, you, know, you know, like a couple of days, a week. And then I met local people, you know, they invited me, they, you know, we went drinks, we, we danced. 
Yeah. I mean, you can stay yeah. awake until three o'clock at night also. Minimum. That's the, the, that's Minimum. The <laughs> you, you yeah. To Buzukia, which is the Greek way of, of you know, like. And, well, how, how not only, eh? Not only. I don't know actually why we are famous about Buzukia. I don't know. It's become, it comes from, uh, from the Sorbas. That's why. Sorbas, well, you know, the Greek. The Sorbas. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that's a joke. That's a joke what? that everybody what? used to me. Let's dance shirtake. Yeah. And also, but also, we are not only this. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I know that we're not only this, but most people know us from... And breaking plates. So That's something also that I don't plates. understand. We, we don't break plates anymore. We never did. No, because no, we used to do that. Look at the, the times back with Onassis. When you see all the people, they, when they were in the... Yeah, it, was, it was about... Yeah, but wait, eh? that was of how many years? Five. Okay, when, when, the cri when the crisis came, they couldn't take any plates because it was too costly. They That's threw, a joke. That <laughs> they threw napkins. They they exchanged it for napkins. <laughs> and then we went to flowers. Good luck with this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Better flowers than napkins. <laughs> or plates. <laughs> yeah, but okay. You know, why, you know why they break plates? Because it brings good luck. No. Oh, really? You don't know that? No, I don't know you that. Sorry. You don't know that? Oh. <laughs> well, well, yeah. As you said, I'm a unique Greek. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's move. Um, okay, what is the best tip uh, that you can give? to people out there for making the world a better place? That's a good question. My, my tip for making the world a better place mm -hmm. to start to start with yourself. Be a good example to others. Okay. Treat yourself right. well. Because you know when you when you are with someone, let's say you're in a relationship and you always expect something from someone, but you don't do it with yourself then how can you expect that the other person will, will uh, give that to you? Because you first have to, you have, you have to do that with yourself. You have to appreciate yourself. You have to, you know, like love yourself, accept yourself. This is very mm -hmm. important. And if you don't do that, you know, how can you be a leader if you're not an, uh, uh, if you don't, uh, if you're not a good example? If you're not a, like, how can you set an example if you don't start with yourself? First, look at yourself and see what's not good and what's not working and then fix that. And then try helping others. Because our main mission, mission here on earth is to help others at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You can make as much as money or you, know, can, you can generate as much as wealth as you want. But, you know, when we leave this, Planet. You cannot take it with you. So, do you want to be remembered as someone who has touched many lives, or do you want to be just a greedy, wealthy person who hasn't done anything for society? Oh, that's my my point of view. Strong. <laughs> that was strong. Yes, I would rather be direct and say it like that than you know make it sound nice. That's my point of view. Yeah. I mean, it's all, it's all an ego thing at the end. You know, I mean, yeah. I also think all the time, you know, um, ego, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a big word to use because for me, it's, being a human, it's not, it's the ego, of course. And if your ego is fed uh, enough uh, food, uh, you know, you take care of it, then you can uh, look beside it, you know, 
you can see your conscious, your subconscious, your ego, your super ego, you know. Uh, and that's the most important for me, to be complete on your own, you know. Yeah. Not, be, not try to be a leader in a relation. It's not going to work, you know, for me. It's good to be a leader in the society, to have a dream, a plan, a target that you want to reach, of course. And then you can be uh, a leader when it comes to your professional career. But then when you put this uh, uh, aspect in the relations, yeah, of course, relations that most of the time are war, you know. it's. Yeah, exactly. It's the beginning of everything, the world and the explosion. You, that's how you create uh, life, you know. But yes. y y the, you have to be a life partner in, in re a personal relation always, eh? not in the jungle uh, mode. Yeah, human relations should not be a war or a jungle. Yeah, but the thing is, we always expect from others to give something which we haven't given ourselves. I the expectation. Like say, yeah, but I always like to say we are all mirrors, you know. Those who are, oh. those who are next to us, they are mirrors showing exactly how we are. Yeah, yeah how, how you show off your personality out there and how you... Uh, react in the relations or not okay. but if you because if you know who you are it's you it's there you cannot change it you cannot okay. mirror or uh, reflect it's just you yeah. you know who you are you know what you want and you go for it okay. and then you don't have expectations i guess i'm not sure uh, because we want it or not, we are also the reflection and the fantasy of our mother. So when you uh, try to build a relation, you want it or not, yes. you're going to have some dreams uh, to this. It's impossible not to dream. That's the whole sed seduction game, you know? You try to create a fantasy, you try to create the fairy tale, the romantic part. Of course, yeah, after, after a while the reality comes and you say, okay, <laughs> woke up. This is not a romance or it can be, okay? We don't want to destroy romance in our relations. But uh, yeah, you always have to be in balance with these things, you know? Yes. Exactly. Having the expectations, but not uh, build the whole relation in this. Yeah. You have to build a uh, human's relation in a realistic uh, level. Yeah, but what do you mean realistic level? Like, yeah. What do you uh, mean by that? Don't leave yourself out of this. Don't mirror yourself. Don't leave it outside. Be. Don't play yourself. Don't play yourself. Be yourself. Be there. Be present. You know. Connect. You mean, you mean not try to pre not try to pretend being someone else. That's what you mean. Yeah, precise. Or don't try to only take out from the other, you know, because mm -hmm. when we are in the, especially in the beginning of, uh, when you start to build a relation, you know what we are doing because we are afraid, of course, we all bring our shit baggage from the past. So we go to the relation, the new relation, slowly, slowly, and, uh, you know, a little bit reserved and closed. And just, you know, we put the surviving mode or the protect mode, and uh, we are listening and we try to understand the other. We try to understand him. So uh, we are something like observe the whole thing from above yeah. 
or from the side, but we observe. We are not in. Yeah. So yeah. Th I think for me, this is not working. I'm not saying if it's wrong or right, but the most of the times is not working. I don't say I'm not doing this. I do it. Eh? I also try to protect myself. And then, you know, uh, it's, it's a protection mode. Yeah. You try to, uh, like, uh, um, when you come in this life, someone else also helps you to come out. So some of us, we try to do this, you know, bring out the new life, but we are not the new life. Do you know what I'm trying to say emotionally? Yes, I can understand you. Yes. I can understand you. Totally. So and just be, I, be, yeah. enjoy. Exactly. Life is too short to not enjoy. Exactly. Which I, I also say mean, you know, it doesn't mean that if you die that you are gone. For me, you know, uh, this place here on, on Earth, it's just like a passage, how you call it, like a um, transit. Transition, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, transition, yeah. If you have learned your lesson here, then you move on. If you haven't, then you will come back. Mm -hmm. As easy as it is. If you have had, let's say, karma, bad karma or something from a past life, then you will be here to resolve this issue. If you don't... <laughs> Karma is a bitch! Exactly. <laughs> so, that's why I always say, try to, try to, um, you know, be the best version of yourself. Julia. Every you... single day. Every single day. You were I'm still out? here. Ah, okay. No, I'm here. That's also my motto. Every single day, be just a step better than what you've been the day before. Yes. Yeah, exactly. not, not in a miracle way, just a small step. But every single day, be a better you, you know? Exactly. Be a better person. Yeah. We and, all came here to suffer. <laughs> yeah. And never, I always say, never expect something from someone if you cannot expect it from yourself. Exactly. But why you we should put this weight on our shoulder? Why we have to have great expectations? We can have expectations, we can have plans, we can have goals, but great expectations magical yeah we can create our magic but how you reach this target you know because if you want to go from the point a to the point b without in the middle the whole sequence then you're mm -hmm. screwed man yeah exactly you're screwed that's how, we, that's how you exactly how you say it <laughs> if you i mean you know you have to go through all of that that's the point yes Otherwise, and, what's the point of it? And work, yeah. uh, work hard. Yeah, you can work, not hard only. You can do some things also in an easy way <laughs> and a funny way. <laughs> Depends how you should, uh, see the glass. How full, how exactly. half empty. Live your life, enjoy your life, love your life, value your life. Live being out there. Come on! Action! <laughs> Action, action. <laughs> even though you screw it, eh? even though you screw, because what do you mean? I fucked up regularly. What do you oh. mean? Even though you... Eh? What do you mean by even though I screw? I mean that, you know, the most of us, okay, we are out there and we are, uh, do mistakes, but we don't conform them. We don't, uh, love them in the end. So we live our life after a point with guilt and shame. You live, you try to be out there, but not uh, the good version of you. Yeah. 
No, I, you I don't think they embrace. Would. You don't embrace your whole self. And I'm always come back and forth to the same meaning: being complete as a personality. That means mm. being complete, the whole you. You know, you with your shit and your good things, and your shit mm. is there. <laughs> we we all fucked up regularly every day. We are not always perfect. Come on, we are humans, eh? But then <laughs> we have to embrace that and love it. Yeah. Don't feel shame. Don't feel guilty. Guilty. That's how we learn. Exactly. But the thing is also, don't forget, if you don't learn from your mistakes then that's the worst thing you can do because you're wasting your time doing the same thing again and again. Without victimize, victimize after yourself, being a fucking victim in your reality. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, the first time you're a no, victim, I'll then see. you're a participant, eh? Then you're a participant. You live as a participant in your yes. shit situation. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. Come on, get out of this. Being the cheerleader. Bananas. Here come the bananas. I have to, I have to blur out some, some words you just said because they will not allow me to post it. Of course you but can. Good, come on. It's, it's good to express yourself like that. You know. Listen, eh? always... the, the new sexy is to be authentic. Exactly. Whatever exactly. that, whatever that means, eh? Yes. That's what I'm talking I mean, about. To be whole, authentic, be you. Yeah. Not separated. You should be just you, how you are. You all know, of that's us. Why, that's the point of it, yeah. All why, of why us. Do you, why do you admire all of these actors? Because they are themselves. They, they're not someone. I mean, they're playing some roles, but we all admire them for what they are. Okay, yes. Oh, that's a good point. Because, you know, that's the best critic I get the, from everybody. Oh, you're an actor. Okay, so now you perform. You're acting. No, man. I don't need to act. I, I used to do it my whole life, and I'm doing it in the stage. In my life, it's me. You know, what you see is what you get. There is no uh, performing there. Yeah. I agree. You, you why, get sick and tired, so you don't need to wear a mask after or whatever. We wear. That's our profession. We wear the mask up there. Yes. It's the same thing. It's the same thing with wearing the mask, you know, going out in, in, in nature and then wearing the mask. Wearing the yeah. mask against, against coping against the virus. Yes. Which... Which for me, like, I don't, uh, for me, it's like wearing, like you said, wearing a mask, being an actress, same thing wearing a mask, you're not showing your true self, you know? Exactly. You're, you're, living, you're living in fear. You're living oh. in, oh, I'm going to, you know, contaminate or I'm going to, you know, put someone else into danger. This political correct. Is what she said. You have to blur me for because we are not allowed. No, we put our barriers, we put our boundaries, we put our stops in ourselves. Yes, exactly. Because we are, we are. How how, you, how should I say? We are uh, controlled by other means. You know. No, like, Adrian, get out of the closet now. <laughs> Express yourself is the only way, eh? I, I, that's what I do. If I wouldn't express myself, then who would I be? So I am I, I'm expressing myself the best I can. Yeah. And the more I the more authentic I am, the more people will feel attracted to it. You know? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. True story. Wouldn't wouldn't you agree with that? Why would you? I, I, I think I have a line with haters <laughs> waiting. So where, where I always say, get in the line, please be my guest. <laughs> Sorry. Or, yeah, I cannot change that. 
it's not always uh, uh, acceptable to be authentic or whatever. I may not be authentic. I may leave my own uh, uh, illusion. I don't know. But in the end, who knows what it is? Who can give the right example of how you should be and how, how you should, uh, should are, you know, out there? Also to bleed, huh? <laughs> no, just, just be yourself. Be your authentic self. Yeah. That's why, that's why, you know, so many artists are who they are because they're not trying to exactly. be someone else. Yes. Yeah. So. Now I have a question. Yeah. What does being ridiculously human mean to you? <laughs> Let's be ridiculous. What, what is... Like what do you mean? Give me an example about a human being ridiculous. What is for you? Like a human being ridiculous. <laughs> like stupid. <laughs> mm. That's a good one, eh? Strong one. You mean ridiculous funny or something like that? Yeah. You know, sometimes being ridiculous can be funny, yeah? Yeah, but also a shaming in a way, right? Nah, come on, shame. Also, okay. no. For example, for example... We don't like in... this word. We don't like this yeah. label. Okay, let's say I'm somewhere in public and I fart. And then everybody looks at me. That's being ridiculous, no? I would say. <laughs> it just came into my mind, I don't know. Wouldn't wouldn't you? Or was that the, the 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 idea behind the question? Being ridiculous for me, being ridiculous is like just be be yourself and not trying to act as being someone else. You know? Exactly. Like because no, not then you are ridiculous. Okay, you are okay with the society. You can manage, but then do you feel okay with yourself? Or do you say, okay, what did I do today that brought me to that point? Yeah. Like, do you mean, did you feel okay with what you did? You mean with your actions? Or? Of, of being out there without being you. Yeah. Okay. Do you feel uh, okay? Do you sleep well? <laughs> There is, a, there is a saying, can you, how could you justify your existence? <laughs> yeah. I heard that once in the, when I was in, in Cyprus in the, in the um, coaching app with my mentor. And someone okay. said, how can you justify your existence? And it stayed in my head. Okay. Yeah, that's a good question. But then... What kind of labels we put to ourselves in our existence? What that labels, w what expectations we do have from us and what other people let expectations have from us? You mean, you mean... Uh, Opa, that was hardcore one, eh? <laughs> No, like, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just, okay, yeah. we are working, okay, since day one until now, we try to create the persona that we want. Yes. The image of the persona that we have. Yes. That's what I mean. Sometimes we, we are the ones that uh, we force ourselves and we put labels to ourselves. Yeah. And that yeah, can but, be but, stressful sometimes. And uh, yeah. the number one uh, sickness now in our society is stress, man. It is stress, yes, it is. That's it why is we stress. have all. That's why we have all of these uh, diseases. Disease. Yeah. 
And uh, it all comes from this. Yeah. But we create them, eh? Yeah, but it comes mostly because we are under pressure, under stress, you know. And mm -hmm. you're doing you're doing bad to your body. You like you putting it under constant pressure. Mm -hmm. And then when you get sick, the body responds to it. You know? I know. In a we bad way. That's why I say I found this ridiculous because we are doing it to ourselves. Exactly. That's why when I when I you know when I look back and I always think about situations where I've been stressed, I said why? What 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 it, what would it bring me now? Nothing. You know? Because at the end of the day, that's why I like doing meditation because you know I I, st I start getting rid of all these thoughts and all that. What's going on? Because if you're not living in this moment now, either you're living in the past or in the future. Yes. And you're not living in the present. That's why it's so mm -hmm. present. Yeah. It's a present to live in the present. Mm -hmm. So, try being here and not somewhere else. Can I, can I ask you, because I fucked up regularly when I try to make meditation to yes. relax. It's impossible, man. Even though I have these monkeys everywhere in my brain, jumping around, I cannot manage to meditate. Yeah, but <laughs> let me ask you, now since, now since everything is locked under lockdown, what yeah. can you do? There's not much to do. You cannot meet with people. They don't even let you meet with people in most countries. You know? No, I try to meditate there. Eh? I try. I try so hard. Thought, so what what thoughts do you have? I mean, since you cannot go anywhere and you know that except of social media, you can be contacted and, you know, be disturbed by it. Mm -hmm. so what else is there that you feel like you are distracted by? Like Me? what is it? What, what is it, what is distracting you if you try to meditate? When you think about different thoughts, what is it? I mean, uh, well, I guess uh, my emotional anxiety. You have emotions inside you, okay? Of course. Yeah. I'm full of, with emotions. I'm fire. <laughs> Yeah. You know, the best thing to, uh, if you have this, like me, when I have this, like, like these emotions, you know, like, I have somebody tries to put their garbage on top of me, like talking bad and something. When I have negative emotions, or I wouldn't say even negative, but if I have these emotions, the best thing you can do is, like, get a, how you call this, when you box, you know, the, the, like a sack. Hanging oh, the bag, and... the boxing bag. Yes, boxing bag, yeah. But uh, the like human, then... uh, yeah, yeah. Try to, you know, like, hey, that's the best thing you can do. <laughs> I know, I was boxing for many years. Yeah. You know, you can hit it and say, ah, you can swear it is or whatever. Yeah. And let all of this energy this go energy. out. Yeah, Emotions. that's a creative environment to release your stress. Yeah. Martial yeah. arts can be really creative. And also you learn to protect yourself from uh, the bad elements out there, <laughs> the criminal. Uh, oh, no. I mean, okay, for you yeah. as a female, it's a, it's a more... It's a thing no, more no, 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 no. <laughs> They, the boys, the, the boys they are in more in danger from me that yes. I feel, yeah, of course. Well, a woman well, who knows how to martial arts. Oof. Yes, I know, <laughs> no, no. It's good that you can defend yourself. Yes. That's the point of it. Yeah. But I'm saying not everybody has, can do martial arts. You know, that's the point. Of course or they no, can. Not everybody knows. Yeah, okay, everybody can, yes, but not everybody knows. That's the point. So if they you're don't in the try. situation, they don't try. They don't try. That's the, Maybe it's a, really it's a decision. To, it's a decision. Yes, everybody can do it. 
but not everybody yes. does it. Yeah, take the decision. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Because they don't, mm. they, we, they don't know the benefits. If you yeah. don't know the benefits, you cannot take a decision for something. And if, if there is no the interest, you know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong. If you don't feel uh, that uh, you are in a war zone, then you don't need to uh, learn to protect yourself. Like what do you mean, not being in the war zone? I, I took the decision to start martial arts back in Greece when all this uh, economical crisis came. And then they start to say in media and... Uh, spread out negativity that uh, a lot of criminals are out there and they they steal and they kill the girls and blah blah blah. So I said fuck the world is getting insane, insane out there so I have to learn to protect myself and that's how mm -hmm. I took the decision but if you are in a country like Netherlands or uh, Switzerland that everything is protected and you feel safe, then you don't need to take the decision to learn to protect yourself. You know what I mean? It's not a war zone. Yeah, but you know what? Uh, you know what my thought is about that? If no. you come in this situation that you have to protect yourself, it's because you're attracted to it. Don't forget it. I mean, it's good to defend yourself. Always. Yeah. But why did you come in this situation if it comes? Do you ever think about that? If you are in that situation, oh, you would say, you know, not everybody would resonate with that. That's the other thing. If you understand law of attraction, if you understand all of these things that your mind attracts everything, the universe will bring you whatever you believe in, then you do it also subconsciously. Because you know? mm -hmm. so we have our conscious mind and our subconscious. Yes. And if you, if you, had fear, whatever, of being somewhere, or you know, like if you are scared going alone at night to the street and, and thinking something will happen, guess what? Something it will, will happen. happen, you know. But it's manifestation, not, it's not, yeah. yeah. But wait, that comes also, it's also reality. Bad things are out there. There are bad things, yeah, but you don't there have to are. attract it. Yeah, but you don't have no, to attract them. But attract them or not, they are there. So if something happens, ever happens, and you have to deal with them, you have to deal with them. You have if to kill the beast, you have to know how look, to be a beast. Okay, look. That I've was wise, eh? Worst, I've been in the worst places where you could be attacked. Believe me. I went and traveled all around Egypt when the this uh, spring rising started in 2013. And I was there also. Cannot... I was there also. You were in Egypt? Yes. No, we were please. trying to fly to Thailand. It was in oh, the Egypt. middle. And... Yeah. Okay. But they didn't let us to go outside of the airport. Really? Wow. Yes. But anyway, what I want to say is, yeah, I've sorry. rented a car, and I went to the worst places you can imagine. Yeah. The military stopped me. They thought I was a, an Israeli spy agent, <laughs> because I looked like, a, like an agent, I don't know. And they came with their machine guns, and they were threatening me. And said, I, I'm, not a, I'm just a Greek, you know, like, showed me my yeah. passport, and then they let me go. But... I didn't feel that I was in danger because, first of all, no. I don't, you know, like, oh, I'm going to die and no, they're going to shoot me. No. I mean, yes, you feel and when you're in that situation, hopefully they won't do anything. But you don't, like, you don't feel that, you know, you, you need to be scared. You know, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, my experience has shown that. And it has to do also with personality with character how you see the situation yeah or how you go to that situation mm -hmm. so i never feel like i was in danger because don't forget you have also your if you believe in that you know your spiritual guides your, your higher self are there protecting you whatever you do you know but if you go against that 
then you will attract this kind of situation. I mean, everything can happen. You never know. But mm-hmm. maybe it had to happen because you needed to learn a lesson from that. You know, you you attracted a certain situation where you see where you might be attacked or some or something. Mm-hmm. You had to learn something from that situation. Of course. So the point is, how do you, how from which point of view do you see that? You know, do you see it as a negative thing or do you see it as a positive? Something always as a positive, man. You always get something positive out of everything. Mm-hmm. Everything happens for a reason. Exactly. Everything. So and I what I say, I... if the end is not good, then it's not the end. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, for me, we are always on the, uh, how you call it? We are always on, on, uh, um, on a trip where we have, we, we need to learn different uh, lessons in our life. You know, we never stop learning. Yes. Yeah. That's the point. Yeah. Can we so close like this also? <laughs> yes. We're no, so close like this. Was, I never expected that this conversation would have turned out this, this, like this positive. I really enjoyed our conversation. So and, long uh, and so long also. Yeah, yeah it and was it really me, nice. And it gave me a lot to think about. I hope for yeah. you too. And I hope of for course. our listeners who will listen to this also. So I'm really grateful for having had this conversation with you. And I hope we can have a, another one. Another soon. one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so thank you very much and, and um, Leanne thank you also very much and uh, um, let's keep this um, that this life is a journey that yes. it's keep going and it has to keep going in a positive way and we have to exactly. experience and we have to learn every day yes. and I'm grateful for having you in my journey yes me too <laughs> I'm grateful to have you in my journey so, thank you uh, it was thank great you. Yeah. and see you uh, soon see you soon too